San Banani Ninjani, uh, the name of the young man, I'm actually just going to take my phone and show you. Nangu. Here he is. It's Kingdom Citizens United. He's a young man from the United States. Absolute prolific masterpiece of Jesus Christ. Gotta love him. Like, I, oh wow, lovely. His subscriber numbers has ever since then grown. He's now on 1.02k subscribers. So praise the Lord for the work that this young man is doing. I want you to check out a video I came called, well, you can check them out. Like, he works really hard. His shorts are hard. I found him through the shorts feed. His shorts are really, really great. Um, This video, yeah, 34 minutes, 15 seconds. It's called Jesus is Coming Soon. Are you ready this one over um, i'm hovering my mouse over it donkey son that one that youngster ne he that video you know that i just like showed to you go to youtube and check it out if you're listening to me from i yes yeah whatever if you're listening to me from any other platform other than youtube um he's all, like well maybe he is on tiktok and as he got such long form content you will only find where youtube um uh, type, you get my point anyway this young man covers church history do you understand uh in a very picturesque way so if you struggle to just sit and listen to a laborious like history channel geogra national geographic exp like exposition on what the early church experienced then this guy is really going to help you out he does a nice little um uh how, how can i explain it he, he he gives an idea grinsha of what true biblical christianity was and it'll make you feel ashamed of yourself in the 21st century to wonder about um, my finances well called to wonder what's going on with your future husband that you ask the lord for guys yes you wouldn't to still to this day that experience early church type persecution born again they get saved in countries like iran they get born again in countries like china and north korea and so they don't have the luxury of freaking out panting literally throwing their random toys out the cart because their youtube channels are not growing or because e boyfriend or e whatever because they're struggling with masturbation what in the world because they are struggling with porn because like what in the world another person that i would richly recommend that you go and check out is melissa doherty she's very good at a satire and there is there she there's she's that's quite a lot of video there's quite a lot of her videos that can edify you in this regard but i've checked out um one particular video for instance where i think the name of it is called if uh, a progressive christian were to meet an early church christian in in the 21st century what their conversation would look like and it's funny it's hilarious because she does these skits right she's a satirist it's funny but at the same time it'll make you crease your forehead it'll make you realize that guys the lord is clear about what enters a person into the kingdom of heaven it is indeed by grace by faith alone through jesus christ alone that we are born again indeed 100 percent the five solas but five with uh, not five sorry but faith without works is uh, uh, is dead and with it as well you need to comprehend uguti to be in christ is to be a holy sacrifice unto the most high it is to be a witness a testament to his grace his mercy it is for you to be a mouthpiece a spokesperson in spite of whatever might be coming up against you it is to go against the grain of culture because the road is narrow that leads to life that few there be that find and so therefore christians have never ever been promised popularity if anything quite the contrary it is written in john 15 that we are going to be unpopular the coverage by melissa doherty all of the early church like this particular skit yes what what I'm sorry, I got distracted there. Um, Melissa Doherty, the skit, Saike. Now, it'll make you shy. It'll make you feel uneasy, uncomfortable. It'll make you kind of want to investigate kind of your own life as to what in the world is going on. I actually want to try and find that, uh, nah, nah, you know, I'd like just go, like Melissa Doherty, that's definitely her name. Go look up, uh, go look her up. You will find a whole bunch of skits. I've been binging her off late because I find her skits very refreshing. But she does an interesting, t a really, very refreshing take on the fluff nature of modern day Christianity and how it is that we automatically expect that God owes us favor that God owes us uh, like a uh, bountiful things that are gonna come into our space that that's will be overflowing automatically when you love the Lord Jesus Christ we neglect to recall that the church is a persecuted body and the Lord has rather guaranteed that if at all you are gonna be in the church you are going to likely be unpopular it is written in uh, 
first Peter somewhere that because you have walked away from your former debauchery the lifestyle that you had prior to Christ they heap abuse on you because they're still walking in darkness do you understand what I'm saying so you are gonna go through it and if your channel is not picking up and flying off the shelves as quickly as somebody that suddenly gets 7,000 what's this um a, a million subscribers in just like a matter of like five months or whatever then these are the things that happen because the world generally is just always resisting isondo structures are gratuitous and unwarranted towards the church they afflict us unnecessarily when we have not had it coming we have not earned earned do you understand what they do to us but they do it anyway and they somehow find it in themselves to justify these deeds against us they spur up they conjure up charges against us but the lord says who can lay a charge against god's elect if god be for us who can be against us this world is not for us we are sojourning here we are aliens we ought to find it uncomfortable and if you don't find this earth uncomfortable as somebody who professes christianity if it does not unease you if it does not unhinge you if it does not make you feel like you're losing your mind then for the life of you investigate if you're born again at all because things have intensified they've gotten worse and worse the spread of lawlessness the mystery of iniquity has ever magnified it is growing exponentially at an increasing rate and for those reasons therefore if you are truly indwelt by the spirit who is ever at war with this darkness on the earth you should be a minimally and un unhinged like even ever so slightly you should not be as comfortable as you were yesterday but if you are holding on to Lomslabalona, you're in danger guys we are in the last days and things are going to get worse and worse and there will be a time in the history of the human race that is unparalleled frankly there is no other time that is similar to what it. it is written in matthew 24 that no other time compares to the very end of the world the great tribulation therefore the um, persecuted church the early saints grand shop had it easy in comparison to what's coming so if you don't have the piety the godly girth frankly of those early christians you're in danger it's what i was talking about in the first like part out of these three parts that nina and tagati and you are mixing it no so manja you are literally with one foot in christ and the other foot is in obungoma or sai or their nature you're in trouble because you're gonna struggle to understand what in the world is happening around you i am still creasing my forehead to this day literally by just gazing at my environment and how it is that i am being treated by abantu bagiti i am in shock i literally cannot believe the literal transition from day to night that occurred in the heart of my family members when i gave my life genuinely to christ mind you they profess christianity but they walk up and down in my life while i am languishing dying at the back of umkuku emi or behind my mother's house like this i used to have a thriving career i was one with this world and then i separated myself for i came to christ and they treated me like i was the scum of the earth dirt like who adjusted so quickly overnight who cares not for their family members per, like impending suicide who in the world just looks at somebody that they once upon a time cared for and overnight just switches on them clearly there is something spiritual that has made them much like i'm a zombie just walking around they have no real god in them but they profess him so nina any busy of tagati to supplement my income when oh goodness he's literally bashed your head against walls and now you can't think straight you're literally delirious it's that basic it is that basic how in the world it is that you are trying to supplement your lifestyle that's not quite coming around fast enough to being where you want it to be with like other forms of spirituality in my nation it's african spirituality whoa you literally there's only one god jesus the way the truth and the life and if you don't hold fast to him in spite of what under heaven you might be going through you are not born again eventually you will die a second death at the great white throne judgment you will be told to depart from the lord worker of iniquity for you were never known let us move on to part four